the structures that we're building today are bigger, larger, they're building them quicker, they're greener than, than we've ever built in, in modern time. We can contribute to just a little part of that by bringing just another element into that, into that construction cycle. It's all, to me, part of what we've been able to accomplish and we're just going to continue to build on that. Our parent company has always encouraged us to think out of the box, think innovative. When we saw this opportunity, we had to do a lot of capital investments. We had to control the intellectual property. And we've got about $20 million of investment behind this technology already. So what was it that caught our eye or, or what judgment did we make at the time in order to embrace that technology? We were looking for something that was totally different. That is very, very difficult to find in this industry. And a lot of our growth is through the introduction of new and innovative products. And macrosynthetic fibers is leading the charge in these new products. What a lot of people thought fiber reinforced concrete was has changed a lot in the last 20 years. We want to change the mindset of the engineering communities of where fibers can and can't be used, get into new marketplaces where we can convert steel over to fibers using existing technologies, and then on top of that, innovate the market. And that has to do with finding new materials, looking at patents, looking at new applications where fibers have never been used. We have an expertise in fibers, how fibers work in concrete, how do they finish, how do they place? What do they do after the concrete is hard? Well, how do you get them into the trucks? How do you get them into the concrete? You know, and our people can speak to all of that. We're inside this 20 year window of product acceptance where I think we've pushed through those early adapters, those people who have said, I'm willing to take a chance on this because I, I like what I see, I'm gonna try to do it. Those people have latched on. Now we're in this huge growth phase and we're seeing a lot of customers now looking at those adapters and saying, what are they doing to get a leg up on, on me? We are developing the next generation of fiber that has yet to be put in the marketplace. Status quo is not of interest to me. Status quo is something that just you maintain. If you want to really change things, you've got to get out there and be a leader and, and, and push the boundaries of, of technology. To be a leader, you need to be at the front. And for that, you need to be technically at the front from the point of view at the codes to try to give these engineers the tools they need to be comfortable with the design. So you need to work on the tools. That same company needs to have the technical background. They need to have testing equipment to truly quantify what their product does and to stand behind it. Uh, and then they need to have the staff that's around wherever this, this product is distributed to make sure it's implemented properly. And, and a leader has to do all of them. If you do only one, um, you're really a follower. And Euclid has, has put that team together and is building the team for growth at this point. There's plenty of fiber products that are out there on the marketplace right now. So what separates us from the competition is, is the knowledge that goes beyond just fiber. It really does come down to the value. You know, can we create better structures that last longer and can be constructed at a lower overall cost over their life cycle? One of the most important parts of our success is we can look back and say, I have projects, bridge decks, that have been built in 1999, 1998, that you can go see. And for an engineer, track record of that length of time means validation. We set a goal to double this business, and we did it. And when we doubled the business, and then we hit the next year, five year cycle, I said, we're gonna double again, and we did it. And when you realize that, you know, a normal company might grow five or six percent, and we are growing this product 60, 70, and 80 percent year to year, that really drives an excitement that you can't find anywhere else. And for an industry that's not selling iPhones, 
That's remarkable. Engineers, I think at the end of the day, want to make structures better. How do you improve something? You, 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 you don't improve something by standing around and waiting for it to improve itself. You've got to do something with it. And we know, as an industry, not just myself, but all my professional colleagues that I work with, we know that putting fibers in concrete makes concrete better. We've proven it, we've published it, we've researched it to death. We have materials, we have technology. Let's, let's work through this. Let's build bigger, better structures.